guys are feeling yourself tonight. I love it. Give it up for yourself. Yes. I'm Elizabeth Weiger, your host for the evening. We have some amazing, amazing talent about to come to this stage. He is a happy, go lucky guy. And you know that's true, because he told me to say that, so you know. You can take him home to mama. You, you, you keep watching him, okay? You might have seen him on True TV, but you're seeing him tonight at the LA Comedy Cube. Give it up for Kyle Henson! Y'all didn't know that was gonna happen, huh? One day, I wanna learn how to do that one day. Like, I've tried to DJ, and the dude's like, you're breaking it, you're breaking it, quit. You're not gonna make that sound. You guys are awesome. Look, I'm just gonna do like 10 jokes and get out of here so you don't have to time me or anything. He's like, why don't you try telling one? You guys are awesome. I'm from a town called Beaverton. Yeah, I know, it sounds weird. I'm from a town called Beaverton. People always ask me, like, hey, Kyle, what's Beaverton like? <laughs> Why do you sound like that? <laughs> and people always ask me, like, what's Beaverton like? I'm like, well, first of all, everybody wears plaid. We say hi to each other. And we drink bald eagle tears. We drink tears from a bald eagle. I know what you're thinking. Logistically, how do you get a bald eagle to cry? You can't do it mentally. You're not going to break the spirit of a bald eagle. It's flying like 90 feet above you. He's like, ah, ah. You're like, fuck you. You're endangered. He's like, ah. But you could do it physically. You happen to catch him in a cage. His wings are going everywhere, freaking out. You reach inside, start choking him. He's like, ah. Ah, ah. <laughs> you guys are awesome. <laughs> Literally 10 more jokes, I'm just going to get out of here. <laughs> you guys all know the saying, you can lead a horse to water, but he's going to fucking drown. Have you ever ridden a horse before? They're a dumb animal. You'd be riding a horse like, I think he's thirsty. We've been going all day. There's a lake. The horse is like, duh, duh, and you got to steer him the way to the water. And then finally, when he gets there, he just starts walking in. You're like, oh, your feet are in. That's enough. Just reach down and start drinking. He's like, I know what I'm doing. And you start going. All of a sudden, he's gone too far in. He's waist deep in it. His head is below the water table. He's like, you're like, oh, what is he doing? You try to back him up and he will You try to lift the horse's head. Have you ever, there is a huge head. You are not lifting that out of the water. Now all of a sudden it's the third horse this week. And you're like, is it my fault that they're drowning? You're like, no, it's the dumb horse. And if you stay on the horse and you drown too, you're dumber than the horse. <laughs> you know how to get a horse to talk? You put peanut butter in its mouth. It's a dumb animal. You're like, nah, nah, nah. And you think like, that might be animal abuse. No, it's not. The horse loves it. It's the best part of the day. It sees the trainer come out. He's got the peanut butter. Right? How does this work? I'm, I'm hungry today. Put me back in the trailer. They're a dumb animal. That's why we turn them into dog food. What? <laughs> you guys like dogs? I have a cute dog around here too, I saw him. <laughs> Dolphins are pretty stupid too. Think about it. They're like they got very big brains. Like they're the second smartest animal. You're like, man, they had thumbs and not fins that send me an email. I don't think it's doing that. If you think about it, every horse that you've ever seen in your or horse, every dolphin, they're stupid too. Every dolphin's homeless. Did you ever think about that? The same place where they eat, they shit, they, shit, they sleep, they fuck each other. By the way, do some creepy stuff. That's the same place that they're at. They were so smart, they'd be your neighbor. <laughs> I, thought I, uh, I thought I knew all of my roommates, right? <laughs> I moved into a new place, and uh, I'm taking a shower, and I, I look up, and my new roommate is looking at me, and I'm like, oh shit, like, what's going on, bud? was a little spider in the corner of the wall. Aww. 
and I'm assuming it's a male, I don't know, aren't all spiders man? I don't know, right? But I named him Charlotte, which is a girl's name. Ah. <laughs> and uh, I was thinking like, should I, I, I water? The, the, I don't think they take water. I don't know, should I grow gnats in the, in the trash and start throwing them up there to feed him? Like, I wanna help out Charlotte. And we, we developed a bond over the couple of weeks, about a month. One morning I'm in there, I'm like, good morning, Charlotte. I open up the curtains and Charlotte's gone. Charlotte left. And then a week later, Charlotte came back and I got my spider back, spider back, spider back. Chili's baby back ribs. <laughs> Fucking love Charlotte. Me and her kick it all the time. I take like three showers a day. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Go in there and brush my teeth. I'm like, how you doing, girl? <laughs> You guys are awesome. Yay! <laughs> Literally 10 more jokes, I'm just gonna get out of here. <laughs> if my erection, I'm sorry I looked at you when I said that. <laughs> if my erection lasts longer than four hours, uh -oh. I'm not the one that's gonna need to see the doctor, you feeling me? <laughs> I'm about to beat the price over that pussy. She gonna learn today, boy. <laughs> She gonna walk with a limp. <laughs> I mean, her whole right side's gonna be paralyzed from the waist down. She gonna have to drag her foot with her everywhere that she goes, and the inside of the soles of her shoes will be carved at an angle. And then when she walks regularly, she'll be all wibbly wobbly. Cause I'm a tramp. <laughs> I don't go down. <laughs> I'm about to treat her like a bear treated Leo. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, you know, the CGI bear with the, if you guys saw the movie, the bear had bad intentions. Let's be realistic. Like, Leo did not see it coming. He's like, is it over? The bear's like, yeah, yeah. You guys are awesome. <laughs> uh, erectile dysfunction is just one of those things your doctor just has to take your word for it. <laughs> it's not like, there's no test. It's like, Cindy, come in here. We got another one. <laughs> We got another fibber. You know, flicks it like, <laughs> oh, it works. You're not, get, you're not getting any pills. <laughs> Poor Cindy. What a job. Right? Again. We're going to have to do this again. Puts it up like a microphone. To the <laughs> it's okay, guys. I'm 100% black, half black. I can say that. I'm 100% half black. Look. I'm so half black, I'm the reason that the cops got called, but I'm still the person that you want to talk to them when they show up. <laughs> Officer, hold on. <laughs> we had a little quarrel. <laughs> All parties have subsided. <laughs> Don't you worry. <laughs> I'm just assuming that's how white people talk. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm so half black, I, I can own the team that I play for. I'm so half black. I can say the N word, but I have to say the N word. Can't just be like dropping it on stage. People are like, where the paper bag at? Put it next to his face. <laughs> Look, I'm assuming that's how black people talk. I have, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm so half black. I can catch a cab. But my dick won't fit. He's putting that shit on the hood of an Uber. Let's put that shit behind us. <laughs> I'm just assuming that's how black people talk. Again, I have no idea. <laughs> you guys are awesome. <laughs> like, I I'm a great uncle, okay? And I don't mean that in a sense to where like I have a nephew that's distant in my family. I'm an awesome uncle. For example, the other day my, uh, my nephew was like, Uncle Kyle. I was like, what's up little buddy? He goes, I'm up here. <laughs> and he goes, uh, I go, what do you want? He goes, I, 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 want, a I want a kitten for my birthday. I was like, what the hell do you sound like that? I want a kitten for my birthday. <laughs> All right, pick a color. He said, I want purple. Go, you remember what I told you about Sherbert? He said, oh, you're right, uncle, I'll take orange. <laughs> you guys, listen, I, I'm cheap. So in order to save on wrapping, I just put the kitten inside the pinata at the birthday party. <laughs> you guys are mad at me. I was just proud of him. This is the first time he beat some pussy up. Cheap joke, huh? That was hack. That was fucking. <laughs> Guys in the back are like, yeah, you went a long way for that cheap joke in there. I see, I could do that. <laughs> you guys are awesome. 
literally 10 more jokes, I'm just gonna get out of here. <laughs> Why don't you try telling one? <laughs> I, uh, wouldn't it be awesome, like, okay. I don't look like the type of person that should have a kid. Right? I don't, I don't, don't look that responsible. And it's, it's, it's kind of messed up, like, I do have a kid. And I, I kind of lied, I don't have a kid, I have an adult. And I really don't look like I should have an adult. <laughs> Let's be real. So, what happened was, uh, when I was 14, uh, the girl was 19, and I don't know where you guys are from, but where I'm from, that's a felony. <laughs> so we never really talked about it. And then a couple years later, later I see on Instagram, you know, or, or Facebook, face space, whatever it is, see this little kid, and he looks exactly like my brother. And so I was like, should I ride him? You know, I, what do I do? Like, tag him, hey, this, is, this is me over here. No, that's not your dad. <laughs> but you never really talk about it. And, and I, I don't feel, I feel a way. You know how bad it feels to not take him to every basketball practice, to not pay child support, to not go to PTA meetings? Oh, it was so rough. <laughs> Irresponsible dad. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Literally 10 more jokes. I'm just getting out of here. <laughs> Again, why don't you try telling one? <laughs> you guys are like, I liked him, but uh, you know, the whole middle half of his set was basically about penis, and I, uh, <laughs> you gotta wonder where his head's at. Was he, uh, was he going through something? Uh, all right. I uh, don't you guys, don't you feel like, like Donald Trump just wasn't going to leave? Like he really needed to have the sheriff come to his house and like evict his ass, right? Like, if you don't, if you don't open, I'm kicking this bitch down. He's like, I'm, I'm coming. I'm just packing. All right. I know I'm supposed to leave. But he, he wasn't leaving. And it got me to thinking, like, how did he actually come to terms with the fact that this shit was over, bro? Like, he lost. And I thought, we should all have shared that moment with him. Wouldn't it have been awesome if he found out that he lost the election on Maury? <laughs> he comes back from commercial break. In the case of the 2020 election. Mr. Trump pulls out the envelope. Trump's like, <laughs> you are not the president. Trump freaks out, runs behind stage like, ah! <laughs> Maury's got the camera crew like, come on, guys, let's go, let's go. They're trying to keep him around the corner. He's like, don't touch me, don't touch me. Maury's trying to console him. He's got his hand on his shoulder. He's like, I wanted to hate the Mexicans. <laughs> Thank you guys. I'm Kyle Henson. Funny Media Group Production.